Clear Shots is brought to you by Pinecast. Use the code R-63F8FB to get 40% off your first four months. Don't give them clear shots! 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 And Alicia's are just like ring, 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 Fucking show my boss that this morning. She was Eva laughing her ass. ass off. <laughs> Why do we know so much about corn? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I had, we were on the subject of football and also creative fantasy football. Seth said, <laughs> NFC, all, what, how do you mean NFC All Stars versus it's the, the NFC? AFC. It's like the all NFC team versus every AFC team <laughs> throughout the entire season. For 17 weeks. So what do you mean? So you can only use the <laughs> NFC yeah. All-Stars? Yeah. So like the Pro Bowlers from the year before. Let's yeah. say that's the cutoff. So you yeah. can only pick those and you play against full teams? Yeah. <laughs> so you would play like you would play like the Bengals. Or no, let's say the Cowboys because I know more about them uh, somehow. You would play against like <laughs> so. Dak Prescott and then like Zeke and, Ro- and Rob Smith. No, and then you have you to would... play against the AFC teams. If you're playing as the NFC team. Okay, NFC. so you'd play against you would play against like Tom Brady and then like Sonny Michelle and you would play Hill. against the Patriots. The whole Patriots? <laughs> yeah. Well basically So it's not just their best eleven players, it's the whole team. It's literally just the Patriots. Well, that would be a that would, would be that would be that would be a stomp. Peters. That would be a stomp. <laughs> That's what I mean. That wouldn't even be fun. <laughs> and then you have to do it as the <laughs> then you have to do it the next season as the AFC and then you play against like the NFC North and then the NFC East. Because that's what I was thinking, because we used to do that in college for Madden, where we would all pick a division. So, like, I'd get the, say I get the AFC North. So I'd have, you know, big, this is three years ago, four years, how old am I? This is four years ago. So I'd have, like, Big Ben as my quarterback, and then I'd have, like, you know, Ray Rice as my running back, because this is before, you know, the, <laughs> that, that whole, that whole fucking comical ordeal. And then I'd have, you know, uh, who was the fullback? Vontae Leach, the fullback for the Ravens. I'd have him. And then I'd have Le'Veon Bell. And then I'd have, you know, like Dennis Pitta and then Antonio Brown and Sir Josh Gordon. So every every team or every person, we'd do eight people. We'd do a round robin. And you'd pick all your players. You would do all-star teams with the division. That's interesting. We used to do drafts, too. We used to do a fucking Madden Fantasy League, but not with a connected franchise. What I would do is I'd go into the roster settings turn off salary cap and then we would do a draft like a full-on like 10 person draft yeah. i had the whiteboards mike chenny and i have them on facebook the fucking giant ass whiteboards we would use and you would pick a team so say you pick the jets and say it was this year now what's the difference between a whiteboard and a blackboard whiteboards are for dry erase markers blackboards are for chalk one is privilege well actually blackboards <laughs> aren't even black they're green <laughs> one yeah, one can get one is oppressed. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like say you pick the Jets, and I don't know. Let's just say you for your keepers, you pick three players. So let's say you pick, you know, I only know for this year. Say I, I yeah, pick three players. It'd be like if you if if you like pick defensive the, and anything, anything. Like Adams, so, so like basically, what we would do is you'd pick like curse. Adams, curse, and like Leonard, Sam Williams, Darnold, Sam whatever, Darnold. You know what I mean? So like you would have the Jets. That'd be your team. And then you would have immunity for Darnold, Adams, and Curse. Yeah, yeah. So those three. So nobody else can draft those guys, but somebody can draft anybody else off. So it's kind of like a keeper league kind of Yeah, it was a keeper league, but with Madden, you know, the best three players on your team are really what you mold your team around. Yeah. You know? So, like, I would pick the Cowboys, and I would pick, you know, obviously Tyron Smith, Travis Frederick, and Zach Martin automatically have a wicked good O-line and then I'd go through and I remember my roommate Carlos fucked me one time. We went through the do we went through the entire fucking draft, right? We would do I think 14 rounds or 15 rounds. And I was the Seahawks and I kept Earl Thomas, Cam Chancellor and Richard Sherman. Those are the three I kept, right? right. We go through the entire draft. I don't pick a quarterback, whatever. Go all the way through. Carlos gets the last pick. His last pick he takes Russell Wilson. <laughs> And I was fucked because I didn't protect him. 
So that's when we realized, oh shit, this is really fucked up because nobody's going to keep a quarterback because they're all going to either use, you know, the 85 overall one they have and just put weapons around them or they're going to go out and get Aaron Rodgers. You know what I mean? So that's what I did was I had Tavares Jackson was ended up being my quarterback. Like a yeah, 60. You're just going to use Colt McCoy. Like a 60. <laughs> I had like a 68 overall as my quarterback. Back. And like Madden is weird because. You don't need a great quarterback to win, but if your quarterback is below a 70, you're fucked. You miss everything. You're yeah. actually fucked. Like, it's so stupid. It happened to me today, actually. No, yesterday. I'm doing another franchise. Cardell Jones is my backup for Dak. First okay. play of the season, Dak breaks his collarbone. Tony Romo style. <laughs> sounds, sounds about right. Yeah. yeah so, all of a sudden, I don't even know who my backup is. And all of a sudden, it's just like... The man that brought the first championship to Ohio State in X amount of years, Cardell Jones. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I look at his stats. He has like 98 throw power and then like 60 accuracy. And I'm like, sweet, bombs to Cooper all day. <laughs> like, what am I supposed <laughs> no, to do? It's bombs to the turf. Yeah. And <laughs> like, they literally, literally are the just, they're just the random <laughs> fucking Blitzkrieg missiles. I ended up just doing dump off passes to Zeke and Rod Smith the whole game. <laughs> And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do that every game. And so, like, like Zeke had, like, by the time Dak came back, he had, like, 400 receiving yards, but he only – he had, like, you know, all of them were all yak yards. <laughs> like, yes. he had, like, 400 receiving yards and, like, 350 yards after the catch. <laughs> like, because that's all I could use him for. So you're supposed to do. Yeah. But you know what the fucked up – you you play Madden, I'm assuming, right? Well, I haven't played the newest one, but – you should, especially if you I like. Just mic- haven't bonded, especially yeah. if you like, like I love it for the micromanagement, because like you, especially when you play on like the realistic custom sliders, you really have to be in complete control of your lineup, and your subbing and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, your audibles, and it's just so fun when like you, you do have like to like know Seth like Seth football. knows how the feeling is. Like you do yeah. the first you do the first season, and you look at your team, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna keep. I'm going to spend extra money to keep this guy for six years, and I'm going to cut these two other guys, you know, the reverse John Gruden. And then I have all this cap space saved up, so then you do the Madden thing, and then you just sign a bunch of veterans that are, like, 80 overall. So then your whole team is, like, just a bunch of fucking 35-year-old dudes. Yeah, that's what Because <laughs> that's all you need. Yeah, especially if you sign them for, like, two years. I found that if you, if you sign them... It's not a, like you're going to play. Even if you... Like, if, in Madden, if you play that many games... Like, if you play every game, you only really need the guy for three years by the time you want to reset your franchise. Yeah, like, the most I've done a franchise, I actually just got done with it. I started with Jacksonville, and, Gosh. yeah, I, I fucking, and you, you know, ended with I, Jacksonville. I gambled, <laughs> yeah, dude, I, ga- I gambled and lost. I fucking, I rolled snake eyes, my friend. And I got Jacksonville. And Crit immediately low. after the first season, I went ten and six, lost in the wild card to, to the Patriots. Obviously, because you can't beat Brady. The first draft I do, I trade away all of my draft picks. Yeah, every single one of them. And my next draft, I have fucking three first rounders, like three second rounders, four or five third rounders. And I'm like, all right, this is cool. Play through the whole season, ten and six and then again. You get a shit draft class. Yeah, <laughs> ten and six again, losing the divisional round get fired okay that's not cool you have to trust the process mm-hmm. i get hired by buffalo gross jacksonville <laughs> hires fucking like john harbaugh or some shit like some ridiculous coach oh it was mike tomlin for some reason mike tomlin got fired from pittsburgh immediately drafts all these players i feel like the coaches that, get fired fast in that game they really do reason. Like, you play one season and, like, all of a sudden most of the coaches are different. Yeah. Even quarterbacks go. It's weird. That's the weird one. Is like, that- I pulled, um, like, I was playing the Giants two years into my fucking franchise and Eli wasn't there. And then also, there was another one. Um, the Panthers uh, never re signed Cam Newton. Trubisky wasn't on. I don't know if you knew this, anymore. but the Panthers will never re sign Cam Newton. Almost every franchise I have, Cam Newton leaves Carolina within a year. It's fucking weird. They either they trade. Be saying something. They, they either they must be yeah, project, predicting yeah, right. that they, they either goes. trade him or they don't re-sign him. And he's it's, going to the he's going to the Bills next year. Well, probably. The weirdest one is when take, like I'll top take him to the Jets. Top tier quarterbacks go to teams that already have top tier quarterbacks. You ever notice that yeah. shit? 
It's like, always I, the, I've I've had years where like Deshaun Watson got cut by Houston and then he goes to Seattle behind Wilson and yeah, they're only like a couple years do. apart. So like Deshaun Watson never plays and then he retires. <laughs> it's like you. <laughs> yeah, but it's like get the fuck out of here. That doesn't happen. Yeah, but Russell Wilson get hurt, gets hurt. He does. That's true. The, the like the thing that keeps me from playing ultimate team is everything. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that it's all paywall. Yeah. I was going to say uh player injuries because you can spend money on like the best card in the game. Well, they but- also have like contracts that are like 3 games long. <laughs> so wait, 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 what do you mean? So you I'm buy pretty sure that they're like you buy a player and then you can only use them a few times. I thought it was something like that. It used to be at least. I know 2K is like that, and that's why I was out of that shit. It's pretty fucking stupid. I remember it was like 2K... S- no, not, it was 15. Like, yeah, we're just going to sign uh, Tom Brady to a four-game contract. And then we'll let him go. <laughs> <laughs> he can retire. We don't need him. What, 41 now? Just I do <laughs> find it interesting watching people on YouTube play Ultimate Team, though. Like I, like the streamers and stuff. That they they'll they'll like gut their whole team and they'll have like their offense will be like a seventy overall and they'll just jack a bunch of money into cards. I mean, I they'll put like the fucking they'll put like the Ravens, the the Legion of Boom, and like the eighty five Bears on the same defense, and yeah. it's like that's fucked. I mean, like, thing it's is, so like, fucking cool though. Like, cause, uh, yeah, like, I like the idea. I don't know. I don't like the way it's played either. Like solo challenges and shit. Yeah, it's I like, don't like that. I I wish there was a way to do ultimate team offline. Yeah. Cause like I want to play like with I want to well yeah but I want to be able to play with the retired Hall of Fame players. True, true. You used to be able to do that. Yeah. One of the Maddens. Well, what was the one where you would draft a new team every time? There was one for that draft champions. Yeah, draft that champions. one was fucking awesome. I think it was eight or seventeen. Or yeah. Something. Um, the one with Favre on the cover. Is that oh nine? Oh nine, oh nine, oh ten, or. Oh no! Oh ten. Well, ten is still two thousand. I think it was oh nine because I two thousand two thousand ten. Yeah, oh ten was the one that had uh, <laughs> that had it, oh two thousand ten. Oh ten had Palomalu and Fitzgerald on the cover, going like this. Oh yeah, that, I really liked the franchise mode in that one too. Yeah. I like the ones. You remember the one create where, a character and get drafted. Yeah, you actually had to do all your workouts. Yeah, Kansas City yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that. You had to do all your workouts. Yeah, interviews. Yeah. you had to hire an agent. Oh yeah. seven. Oh oh nineteen is pretty. <laughs> this is the oh one. nineteen, dude is just gonna be twenty. <laughs> no, I I just that's I think that's part of the problem. No, it's just the, you, you know what the problem is. They is, don't give you enough flexibility with how you want to play it. Really, no, 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 they don't. Because that's what I love about two K is they have tendencies. Do you play two K at all? I don't really care for like basketball or no. baseball games or anything like that. I like FIFA's all right to me. FIFA's dope. The I'm not even like cool. into soccer. Like the show. The like, show you were showing me that shit. That is fucking micromanagement. Yeah. That one and, is and like with the um, scheduling your they, pictures and your training and shit. They have a uh, mode kind of like that where it's you get cards and things, but you create a team from scratch and you create their logo and their uniform and everything. So. That's better than I think than Madden. Yeah, I think. for sure. I was gonna say it was O nine that had a uh they had free agents and then they had Hall of Famers and every single Hall of Fame player was in it and you could put them into your game. Yeah. And Barry you could Sanders Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, like I remember exclusively playing they as didn't like have that in O ten. They probably did. <laughs> they, I remember they, they, they had it they had it for a <laughs> while. Because I remember getting like you know, you could play as like fucking Doak Walker or like Jim Brown and shit. Like the yeah. old like fucking Yeah, you have to have a Ray Nitschke in Joe there. Joe Namath. Know? Yeah, like <laughs> I remember just getting a team with like Herb Adderley and Mel Renfro and Drew Pearson. Yeah, I would have the bus. Don Hudson. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> People talk about overpowered Madden characters, and obviously Michael Vick is brought up, but Jerome Bettis was dog true. shit in Madden, dude. Because he was the size of two players. I would just get yeah, that's true. <laughs> I would get I would get the bus in Michael Vick. Yeah. And then you don't, that's all you need. And just keep extending their contract. <laughs> I just I remember fucking one of the games, Ray Lewis was super OP because he had it was when they did the hit stick, and they gave Ray Lewis 100 hit power. Do you remember that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, yeah, every was tackle with Ray Lewis was a You should ask fumble. his wife how um, much yeah. hit power he has. What is his hit stick like? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. This Some fruits are frustrating, though. Yeah, Some dude, like... are annoying. Like tomatoes. 
super frustrating. That's the one that you picked? Oh, that's wild. Tomatoes, I mean, like, I mean, like well, what kind, what kind of tomatoes? I mean, any kind of fucking tomato. Well, I feel like if you did a little popper tomatoes, <laughs> yeah, like, you're okay. Because you got to put the whole <laughs> thing in. They're, I mean, divine. <laughs> they're yeah. divine, dude. Cherry yeah, and grape good. tomatoes are my lifeblood. Yeah. They are so good. Pears are a little frustrating because they're like, they're like pears, on dude. the fence. How do you feel about like plums? Yeah. Well, plums are all right. They're really juicy though. I like plums. They are quite juicy though. They're like a little too juicy sometimes. I just like, that's the thing is like with an apple or something, if you take a bite of an apple and it's, it's too juicy and it starts dripping, yeah. then you're in trouble because then you have to like lick it and shit. <laughs> yeah. And then, you, and then yeah. you're like, you get the, the apple juice dries onto your beard it's and shit. Sticky and it's sticky as fuck. Like, yeah. I have it's this like weird thing mange. about apples. Yeah. Like, some reason, like, the apple skin will just, like, make my gums itch like a motherfucker. That mm-hmm. might be an allergy. I, I think, think it's, that's... like, because I can eat, like, potatoes without skin. Potatoes. God damn potatoes. apples without skin. <laughs> Oops. Those are a good fruit. Yeah. The, the skin does it's have all the toxins. fruit of the earth, man. <laughs> the skin does have all the toxins. Yeah. I think it's just, like, pesticides I might be allergic to. Well, I think it's toxins. I mean, I wash it, but, like. Apple, like, apple seeds is probably the problem. Oh, uh, that. Don't swallow them. Yeah, don't swallow them because you'll. They're filled. They're riddled just with toxins. Just smoke a cigarette. It'll the it'll smoke will suffocate, suffocate the bacteria. Suffocate the bacteria and it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat the sticker either. There's some weird ones though, like kiwis and shit. Like people don't just buy that shit. It seems like I. I don't know. I feel like when I was younger, kiwis were around way more. Like, kiwis in my were life. kiwis were totally in early 2000s. Yeah, food. Yeah, it was like a fad. You know? Yeah, it was, it was like avocados fad, right now. You know dude. what I mean? Kiwis, kiwis were in were a at a time, you know. But it's why like, bring back kiwis? Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> start a petition. Go you for never me. hear about that. <laughs> you don't. No, they're it's like really hairy ashamed. too. Remember when pomegranates were huge? <laughs> pomegranates. Yeah, Remember when pomegranates, pomegranates dude, like blew up? Do you dude, know that's like the most are... annoying thing though. Like to eat because you're just like <laughs> you just have to like pop it and spit out the seeds. I feel like cherries. Like our fucking che- awesome. no. like, there's so many different types of cherries. Dude. I don't like no, I cherries don't, with like, like pits in it. You know, what I just dark like, ones. I just don't like cherries. Those are pretty good. I like those. But like like eating, you got to eat around the pit. Either. No, Marish, well, I know. Marish. You don't just eat the pit. I yeah, know you that. Eat but... around it. It's toxic. <laughs> just eat it all. Stem and everything. You know, a lot of people like grapes, but I'm not a grape guy really. Grapes are decent. Yeah, they're decent. I, you want to find me buying them, like, but they're in my fridge or, yeah. like, or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody brings grapes. Yeah, I'll like you wouldn't find them. me in the grape store. You, know? <laughs> you want to yeah. find me? In the grape aisle. In the grape section. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yo, like, Do you see the meme where they did surgery on a grape? And everybody's like freaking out. No. Yeah, you know that happened like ten years ago. <laughs> I don't know. It was fairly as from beyond the times. Concord grapes are awesome. They have like those crunchy little seed type things in them. Those are awesome. But I feel like with grapes, like you can't really stop eating them once you start. You kind of have to just finish all of them. So it's you a, just got to eat like Caesars. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Somebody feed it to you while they fan you off. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're for. It's royalty. With, food. When you get fanned with a giant leaf, wherever yeah. they get those leaves, like where do they get those fucking leaves? Yeah. Maybe the leaf store, man. Yeah, I guess it's the leaf aisle. Yeah, fucking the leaf Christ. Christ. Giant fucking leaves. That is a weird thing, and that's depicted in a lot of shit. I wonder if that ever actually happened. Because <laughs> where do they get the leaves? I mean, I feel like you'd have to make like a fan or something instead of a leaf. But the leaf looks cooler. Yeah, I mean, like, like there's something about the leaf. It's the probably leaf only grown in like Egypt or Rome or whatever the fuck. It's they definitely were. a special strain. <laughs> <laughs> it's some dank dank. <laughs> yeah, it's some form of indica. <laughs> what other fruits? Let's see. Grapefruits are kind of shitty. Grapefruits are odd. Yeah. Like, like unless you put sugar on it, it's like, what's the point? Yeah, but I like grapefruit <laughs> juice though. Yeah, but the sugar in it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't mind grapefruit if you put sugar on top, but, like, people would just eat it raw. I'm like, it's so fucking mm. bitter. Oranges are crazy, too. Well, like, which oranges, kind of oranges? Like, like are you talking about, like, tangerines? Ta- oh, ta- Blood oranges. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all of them. All, all of them are fucking what crazy. What are the little tiny ones? I think those are the tangerines. Halo, no, ha- halos. halos. Yeah, yeah. Just like the little, the little tiny, tiny ones. Tiny you just go like, 
Yeah, pop it right there. And off. then your fingers are sticky because there's juice everywhere. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then you wipe it into your beard. Yeah, yeah. That's you gotta get rid do. of it somehow. And it makes it your beard citrusy. Mm -hmm. But like, that's why the, his, that's why his is red. the fucking fuzzy white shit on him is is fun to play around with. So you don't want to eat too much of it because it's way too chewy. Like you right. can't handle all of it. I do like. You gotta like, like peel the orange. extra white shit. I think shit oranges off. might be my favorite. Food. Oranges right. are ridiculous. Bananas are pretty dope. Yeah, I don't mind bananas. But like, if if you're peanut to give butter me, and banana sandwich, bananas are weird with. as fuck because it seems like they should almost be on the vegetable scale. They're getting close, you know. They're like on that little borderline. <laughs> They're not really juicy, you know. <laughs> uh, I like green peppers. Yeah, uh, I like all peppers. I like bell peppers, green ones. They're my favorite. Peppers, yeah. Oh, actually, feel like well, now we're on. Well, no, we're, veggies, we're right. moving into veggies. I mean, bananas <laughs> are the whole bananas pyramid. are a pretty good like <laughs> transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To veggies. I mean, we started with tomatoes though, which is funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, isn't it actually a fruit though? Technically, yeah, it is. It is technically. Oh, um, fuck, I don't really care about that argument. I don't, it's I don't a know, man. Piece of shit fucking, I, hate <laughs> I love Brussels sprouts to death. I, I fucking don't think I've ever had Brussels well, sprouts. <laughs> I like spinach a lot. Spinach is wicked good. Broccoli. I like raw bro broccoli more than cooked, cooked broccoli. Yeah, same. Yeah. I, and I like I like raw carrots more than cooked carrots. You won't catch me even looking at a cooked carrot. Oh. Fuck that shit. Get it out Only of my fucking Only if it's in vision. a stew or something. I'll you eat know any of them. I'll eat any of those. What carrots about cauliflower? Good. Nope. Uh, no, that's not. It's all right. It's just... I feel like... I, it's just broccoli. like cheaper broccoli. Like Yeah, yeah. It's like a... <laughs> overrated broccoli. <laughs> It's like uh, the Bush League version of broccoli. <laughs> it is. It's like, like it's like it's like the Pepsi to broccoli's Coke. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Broccoli's great though. I don't know why everybody shits on broccoli. It's because I think it's because little kids don't like it because it looks like a tree. <laughs> it freaks them out. <laughs> yeah, like, this tree away from me. Uh, I, it's funny. I like Brussels sprouts, but I hate cabbage. And cabbage is just. Bigger. I don't mind cabbage. I don't really like cooked cabbage. Like I could do cabbage in a salad. Yeah, but I mean, like, I can't do, like, Polish food, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, Yankees like... or whatever they call them. Okay, hang I mean, on. So like onions, what we're though? saying is, like, onions. tomatoes are awesome. Tomatoes no, are awesome. Tomatoes. <laughs> onions. Uh, I'm anti-tomato. <laughs> onions you can are see amazing. me at a rally being like, fuck the tomatoes. Well, I feel like, you know what's weird is... Uh, <laughs> onions. I just feel like vegetables, there's such a fucking range in vegetables. Like, what the fuck is a bee? In the fucking first place. Does anybody like eat beets? I, I thought that was in the same thing as like potatoes. Yeah. And it's, does, like a it's like a. Like, I don't think thing. carrots are really vegetables. No, carrots grow from well, seeds. Well, they are, technically. It's yeah, like, but, but no like one potatoes. Beet 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 potatoes beet. aren't technically a vegetable. They're a starch. Yeah. I've never seen anybody pick potatoes up an onion and like just to pick a fresh <laughs> onion and eat it. Unless I didn't I'm, pick unless one, I'm watching. But I'll eat a whole onion like an especially apple. Especially the sweet ones. Oh, oh yeah. I I've like, only I like ever white seen apples. Uh, <laughs> apples. I've only ever nice. seen Shia LaBeouf do it in holes. Oh, fucking! That's the only movie. time I've ever seen anybody. What a onions. classic, right onions there! Are so good, though, dude. Um, the What's spar that, though? asparagus is good. Yeah. Uh, chives are amazing. It's just chives basically an great. onion at that point. Um, green beans. I'm a, I'm a fan. Well, do you like them? I like uh, snow peas mainly. Oh, you dip yes. it in some hummus. Mm. Like raw, like. <laughs> Raw snow peas yeah. or like raw sugar snap peas, yeah. Yeah. where you're just like you're just dipping them in like blue cheese. I think hummus is the best, like roasted pepper hummus with it. Fucking blue cheese! I love blue cheese. You don't do blue extra cheese? chunky. Get the fuck yeah. out of here! How do you not do blue cheese? You fuck. It's moldy. I bet cheese. you eat ranch with his fucking buffalo chicken wing dip. Uh, <laughs> good yeah. blue cheese with wings that go fuck your mother. <laughs> Twice. I don't even do it's blue good. cheese with wings. I just eat my wings. But I, I, I eat them. I like it too. It's fucking moldy cheese. Most so, cheese. It's not bad for dude. Have, have you seen <laughs> how cheese is a thing? <laughs> yeah, of course. It's great. That's blue cheese is just <laughs> it's moldier. It's just moldier than regular cheese. Yeah, I don't want that. It's blue. It's so. <laughs> it's so. But if it was though. green cheese, would you eat it? No. <laughs> is there any is, color cheese, cheese you would yellow, eat? Cheese dude. Unless it's uh, not or white. Like ricotta. Let me say what. Oh, ricotta. <laughs> Mozzarella or provolone. Are we going to cheese right now? <laughs> ricotta, of veggies? Ricotta, I mean, we've is... done. We've we've covered fruits and vegetables. So we might as well do the whole pyramid. Yeah. yeah. Ricotta cheese is fucking fantastic, <laughs> though, dude. 
I fucking <laughs> love. Too. I can eat out of a bowl so cold. much. I don't give oh a shit. my god, with scoops. I'll do. I'll get like. A, I'll literally it. go out and I'll buy a little thing of ricotta cheese and scoops, like Tostito scoops, and I'll scoop ricotta and just put a little bit of sriracha sauce on it, <laughs> pop it in. Well, I just put some crushed red pepper on that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, dude? It's not like a fart. <laughs> you ever... What does the food pyramid even look like these days? I don't even. Isn't know. it a plate now instead of a pyramid? It's yeah. like a portion plate. Yeah, and it's still wrong. Didn't they have people... one time just put it like upside down? That was, <laughs> it was just that was like a everything South... you're doing is that was wrong. a South Park episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm best>. shows <laughs> how much I know about nutrition. <laughs> but the the food pyramid that they brought out back then was wrong because you're not supposed to eat six servings of bread a day. You're actually supposed to be eating less bread. You're more fats. To, more fats and more proteins. Like, your diet should mostly be... Nuts. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, like, a healthy balance between them all. But, like, strict well, carbs, like bread, if you're not active every day, it's yeah, so much harder to burn If you're not burning the burn carbs, yeah. there's no point of eating that much carbs. It's like that's, pasta. Like. Yeah, that's the thing that sucks, and that's why, like... Whenever that's why you feel so full too. After yeah, you've... for sure. I feel like the food pyramid changes every day. You know, <laughs> just I mean, the way that they fuck it. Just like ah, bread, fuck it. If yes, they don't know eat shit. It. <laughs> if if I could only eat one thing off the food pyramid what? for the rest of my life, Tacos. it would legitimately just be red meat. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, just steak. I don't really like ki- like I like chicken. I just don't really care for it compared to beef, beef or yeah. you know pork even. There oh, she there is. It is. All right. Yeah, eight look at servings that. of water. Six to more a, like eight servings of beer. Six right? to eleven <laughs> servings of bread, cereal, rice, and pasta. You so, so you're supposed to have six bowls of cereal a day, basically. Alcohol is good for you, apparently. You're supposed to have well, yeah, six, but you can just six have... slices of bread, apparently. It's Get good the for fuck you out of here. Quantities. What about the person doing bread. all those? Like three that's sandwiches. way too much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> look at all the yoga. Look <laughs> no, at all the yoga you have to do. <laughs> that's too much yoga. That's bullshit. Fucking diving dog. So uh, there's, okay, so two we got to four breads. servings of fruit. That doesn't sound right. Sounds like you. Should I like have how the top is just oil. <laughs> oil and a piece of pie. Yeah, and and you, can, you can see Gaddafi right there. Yeah. <laughs> right at the top, crossing his arms, looking like a little genie. <laughs> oh, and then in the bottom right, you have uh, Saddam's skull. The red, the red on the top of the skull is the laser sight. <laughs> Do you yeah, not see this? Right. I don't have my glasses. I don't see it. I don't, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really tell what that looks <laughs> like. You lost me a like. Gaddafi, dude. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. <clears throat> I know there's definitely a fish there. Is what there? kind of fish? It's yeah, a carp. Right there. It's just the trashiest fish. It's just a. It's just a fish, a prawn, and then the see, head of a giant beetle and a clam. I don't see any. Is that a seashell? Who the fuck knows? No, squids <laughs> are not in the food pyramid. Why not? Because they are not. They are neither meat, poultry, fish, dry beans, eggs, or nuts. What are they? Oil. Who the fuck eats a pumpkin? Uh, like that's one. Not like a whole weird. pumpkin. Yeah, like no like one grabs rolls. a pumpkin and is like taking bites out of it. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, exactly you don't it. see that ever. No, you need exactly three to five pumpkins a day. <laughs> 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 like, how do you even like eggplants? That's another one that's fucked up. I love said, eggplant, dude. Said, didn't you say eggplant already? Oh, no, you said it. grapefruit. I like eggplant a lot, though. Eggplant Deep from eggplant. Mm. from Canelli. Or no. Have you ever had Tyro's when they were here? Yeah. I, I used to work there, and I used to get uh, stir-fried it's mm. spicy eggplant. Yeah, It's deep-fried eggplant with noodle, drunken noodles and, like, chicken Fucking. and stuff. I used to get it with duck, dude. It's... Really Lemons. Dude. Hey, we didn't talk about peaches or pears. Or no, we talked about pears. We didn't talk about peaches, though. We didn't talk about lemons. Peaches either. are too furry for me. Yeah. Not I mean, you could just take the skin off. I mean, I could. What about berries? What's your guys' favorite berry? I like I like raspberries. Brickleberry. No, I'm just uh, <laughs> I like Actually, whatever. blackberries are my favorite berries. I don't, I don't know if I Raspberries, probably. Raspberries are awesome. Raspberries are good. No, wait. How are we gonna come up with this? We don't need. <laughs> how are we gonna come All up? Right, with what's discussion? your favorite junk food? I can't we don't think, have I the can't, food pyramid. I can't think of any food. What's your favorite junk food? <laughs> Drunk or junk? Junk. Drunk is a whole well, different. It's the same category. thing. Chex, Chex mix. When I'm drunk, I eat like grilled cheese with like bacon and like pancakes on the yeah, side it's some bullshit it's also junk food but you just skip the grilled cheese and you just do gr- like a fucking McGriddle with bacon. <laughs> just pancakes just a pancake sandwich 
Well, Junk, I mean, does Chex Mix count? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a snack. Like, yeah, I'll give it that. I like Chex Mix in the mini unwrapped pe- uh, peanut butter cups and Dr. Pepper. That's that's my that's my bad oh, snack. I, I really I like brownies. every every few every few days. That's my thing. I like brownies and ice cream. Oh, and Mountain Dew. I love. Yeah, there's something there. weird about brownie, like a hot brownie, yeah, yeah, like with a ice fresh. Cream on it. Yeah. Or with weed in it. It's the hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Did we tell? I uh, know we didn't. I'll skip that first for later because I want to keep talking about food. Because <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't eaten since right, this right. morning. What about the? Uh, I still think lemons are great. I'll eat a lemon straight up, dude. Did I? Eat I mean, I won't eat a whole lemon. I'll eat like the slice. Of, I have the worst sour face. So I'll be like. You got to eat the whole lemon, dude. <laughs> You're a lemon. You can't just start Don't be a, a lemon. You can't just start a <laughs> lemon, dude. You got to finish it. What was that jobber's name again? He got fired for doing something shitty. Adam Rose? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be a lemon. That was his gimmick. Is he the one that fucked? Uh, one with he the was the guy that shit. came out with the, um, the ravers, a bunch basically. of dancing dudes in Chicks. animal seats and shit. Or a- animal suits. What was it called? Uh S- the flower Freeze? party or something? No, the, like uh, the shit. The bud. Rosebuds. Rosebuds. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of jobbers, who's your favorite jobber? Yamcha. <laughs> Yamcha, really? Yamcha has put so many guys over, too. Really? I know, about right? I don't, I don't watch WWE matches. enough to know. I mean, like, of all time. Uh, like, Gilberg? I think it's Bo Dallas, dude. <laughs> Back, I miss his like original gimmick. I don't know, Mark Henry. Mark Henry was. Not, not, I mean, he had his time. He was a job. I don't know. I don't know. Any, I don't know. I don't know. I know. Sexual like, man, chocolate. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, man. like the Godfather or somebody, you know. Oh yeah, fucking gobbly gooker. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know who would be a jobber. I'm just gonna say a name and you'd be like, no. Somebody that no. would Randy, never get the belt. Randy Savage. He's had the belt. Christian, he, he has. Christian it. had it what once he did or have twice. Um, Chavo Guerrero, yeah, Chavo Santino, <laughs> Gold Dust. <laughs> Santino, that counts. I do like Gold Dust too. Actually, he's not Gold that Dust bad. Honestly, he looked better when he came back than he ever did. Uh, Chris Benoit, he gave a lot of emergency responders jobs that night. <laughs> Yep. He did put them over. He did put them over. <laughs> he, he did put, put them, them over yeah. time. Oh man. Yep. That's yeah. <laughs> yep, and just like his son, he did put that plastic bag over his head. Yep. Jesus Christ. Fruits are weird, Isn't his bro. son now a professional wrestler? No, his son's dead. No, he is the one son that didn't die. Oh, he I bet he wishes he did. <laughs> I bet that's probably why he became a wrestler. He started doing steroids. Who does? Guerrero? No. Or, Benoit. No, wait, Benoit. He has one kid that didn't. He wasn't there at the house. He was in like school or something. You would think he would wait until he was at the house. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, like, Maybe I don't know his motives. Out. Do you know his yeah. motives? Maybe he was just freaking out. And Maybe that kid didn't do him. anything wrong. Maybe the younger son just fucking like Maybe dropped wait, his Legos Maybe, everywhere maybe he waited he stepped for the already. good son to leave the house so that way he wouldn't get caught in the cross fire. Yeah. And I Benoit's mean, if your dad's Chris Benoit and he's trying to kill you, you're not really going to do much. He's going to put you in like, crippler cross. He, he'd come up to you and be like, oh, Jesse, do you like Papa's biceps? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's a big Papa Palm now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can we give, give Daddy a little hug? Scott Steiner never really went over, did he? <laughs> no, I think he, he maybe the won thing one is, like, intercom. They all had like a weird fucking era where they had like Goldberg and Sting and Hogan and all those guys to compete with. Triple H. Yeah. Austin. HBK. Yeah. It's like, how do you get over in that era? Like, those dudes are. You risk your. You Jeff Hardy at that point. Yeah. You just got to. Shane O'Mac. You yeah, know what I mean? That's really the reason Hardy even got over. It's because he was like, I'm going to jump off of everything. Even then, Matt <laughs> fucking became like. Obsolete. No, no pun yeah. intended. But <laughs> he got deleted. He's broken now. It's Fuck a cool gimmick. Jeff though. Hardy was just like in his prime. It was like ridiculous. But he and then he also had like you had like guys like Rob Van Dam that were like just normal looking he might dudes be coming back. You hear that? I heard about that actually. Yeah, I actually, felt like I'd be stoked about that. Bring him in like Royal Rumble again. Yeah, he finally got kicked out of the last methadone clinic in America. 
<laughs> Rob Van Dam was a heroin addict? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. So. It's just a funny thing. I was to like, say. I know he's a stoner. He no, is he like was... in the cover of a High Times magazine. Yeah. He's RVD 420. I, I, I was thinking of somebody else. <laughs> oh, Val Venus. You remember him? Hello, oh, yeah. ladies. He now owns a dispensary. Does he? <laughs> and he's fat as fuck. Whatever happened to Virgil? He's my favorite job. <laughs> Virgil? He just sits at fucking 2CW shows. <laughs> if I. <laughs> <laughs> they don't exist anymore. <laughs> I felt like Dam, like Van Dam, was like one of my favorites, just because he had like a unique style. He did Especially a lot of flying how high kicks you can get and... that fucking five star. Like, yeah. That motherfucker could jump. <laughs> and it's not like he was like getting over on the way he looked. He just looked like a new normal dude with a ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. No, no, like no. A he's a he dude. Like John Claude just Van because Dan. he has a ponytail doesn't make him any less than a dude. He's just a dude. He's not Wait, a dude. Well, he's a dude with brother, a brother, Jean Claude Van Dam. No. <laughs> no. They're spelled different. You sure? Yeah. So. You gonna fact check it? <laughs> no, I'm not. Van- <laughs> Jean Claude Jean Claude Van Damme is V A N D A N M E. And then Rob Van Damme is V A N D A M. H E R O I N A D D I C T. A G double hockey sticks. Hashtag sex work hashtag sex work is real work too. Hashtag hashtag, call hashtag the, pay your taxes. Hashtag call, <laughs> <laughs> hashtag write it off as an ex, a business expense. Hashtag hashtag new mic start a premium. Anybody yeah. want to see my bow over twenty bucks? <laughs> no, All right, cool. How do we, how, how do we <laughs> know it's enough. yours? Are you gonna put your face in the shot? I'll, I'll right, like, yeah, you have to tuck your head down. Right <laughs> it's like I'll take a sign and be like, "Well, no, you have to go all the way down, like between the like." That's a lot of stretching down. right there, man. Yeah, I don't like, think that's I'm like capable. a Patriot Pat stance. No, it's like the guy from. Um, it's the, like I'm the about old, to snap the old, a ball. The old Patriots logo. <laughs> no, the the Ginyu Force. There was one guy that did that. Oh, it was Raccoon. Was it Raccoon? I think he was where he's like with his head yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. One of. I think them, it was Raccoon. Sure. That it was Goldar, or whatever his name is. Goldar, Goldar is from fucking Goldar Power Rangers. Fucking... <laughs> it's just with the little green dude. That was Bulby. uh Gudo. Gudo. <laughs> or Jace. I'm Australian. Yeah, Jace was I'm a snag. I'm a slipper. I'm a snag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the fastest in the universe. <laughs> that was the blue guy. What was the Vol- blue guy's name? Uh, Zarbon. Zarbon. No, no, Birder, no, that's Birder. the transvestite one. Birder right? was the... You can't say that. Guy. You cannot. You're being insensitive. Well, I've seen so many people in real life that look like transformed Zarbon, and I can't... I always call him Zarbon. <laughs> <laughs> Is it somebody in his well, he's not, he's I've not, seen multiple people. He's not transformed like Zarbon. He's just Zarbon. It doesn't matter that he's transformed. He's turns into like an alley. You know who it is? Is that girl we were talking about before that used to be The frog the bitch? When, yeah. The upside down triangle. She looks with like some... Zarbon. <laughs> It's like, like transformed Zarbon. <laughs> Big, broad shoulders. Like it almost, yeah, it almost looks like a frog, but like it's got... Like, like an alligator frog? Yeah. I don't, I don't know who this girl is, do you I? You would. I'm not going to say it for the the Name simple drop. fact. Turn, <laughs> turn your mics off. Turn your mics off. This is a spoiler warning. Spoiler. <laughs> Stuff that we're not supposed to say. All right, we're back. I, I, <laughs> oh, no. I knew her younger sister. She used to do Taekwondo with me. And this was when yeah, I was like that's... eight. And you know those kids where, like, if you had to hold hands with them or, like, play tag or whatever, you touch you don't their skin. Hold hands with and them. their skin is like. It's like scaly. It's scaly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you, you know, they're Crazy. not, you know, they're not drinking any, you know, they're not drinking any they're water. Like, like, they're just, they're just like. Yeah. They're like a fucking lizard. Yeah, dude. <laughs> they're shedding like halfway through their shed period. Oh, no. <laughs> it's literally oh, the Illuminati, no, dude. Oh, no, no, no. That's what they are. The lizard people. <laughs> lizard. <laughs> Ask Alex Jones, dude. He knows all about the lizard people. I'm and really, also I'm knows really, that yeah, frogs really are gay. I'm really annoyed that you have all these people that are like, yeah, free speech is the best. Don't get rid of it. And then Alex Jones is like, hey, uh, here's a crazy conspiracy. Sandy Hook was fake. And they're like, nope, you're never allowed to speak ever again in public yeah. ever. Freedom ain't not Did you free. see that he just got his White House press pass uh, given back to him? That no. sounds dangerous. It's fucking hilarious, in my opinion. Him and Trump sounds like nobody, I, like two people I don't want to be in the room with. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, like, I would for the I memes. Would. But... I would if I was behind, yeah. like, bulletproof one-way mirrors. <laughs> Where they can't even see you? Yeah. You just... I would just watch it on TV from my house at that point. <laughs> Watching it from, like, they're in an octagon talking. 
Yeah, oh, they're like oh basically. God. It's basically Chuck Liddell versus Tito Ortiz. Yeah, it's, it's Alex Jones versus Donald Trump. Yeah, that was such a sad fight. Why, Dude, Chuck Liddell looked like he was. Dogs are gay. In, no, Chuck Liddell looked like he was punching underwater. Yeah, he looked like he was. Like, did you dream punching? Did you, yeah, exactly. Did you see him get knocked the fuck out? I, by Tito I didn't Ortiz? really watch. Was he on Bellator now or something? He's in one. No, FC. It, was, it wasn't even any of those. They they did it under like Oscar De La Hoya's like promotion. Oh, that's yeah. whack. Like it wasn't. So anything. they like really They're, desperately like, needed people to watch their shit. Well, I don't even know how much they cared. I mean, it was mostly like free agent fighters mm. that were fighting. So like you had like uh, Robbie Lawler and like I don't know a couple of guys that had been Did released. That it's a big country still. I think he lost. Or, no, I don't think so. I he's think probably he's in Bellator. Eating. I thought I heard somebody say that not too long ago. He's probably eating pizza somewhere. Um, Rory yeah. McDonald was taking over Bellator. Well, that's because like Rory McDonald's a fucking monster. Shit. Yeah, he bought a ton of Bellator stock. I know he stock, or not wasn't stock, he but, offering yeah. Khabib a bunch of money to just leave the UFC to come to Bellator. Yeah, he he offered him like fifteen million dollars or some shit. It's ridiculous. Roy Nelson is in the heavyweight division in Bell in Bellator. He's probably garbage. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I mean, his gut is bigger than most of his body. He was never champion, was he? He just won the Ultimate Fighter. He, That's, yeah, he won the Ultimate Fighter um, against Brandon Schaub, right? I think it was. I thought it was the final. I don't even know. Man, I've, it's Did been a Schaub while since I've been watching. I mean, I watched the Conor McGregor fight, dude. I, the most exciting thing about that fight was the aftermath afterwards. <laughs> Where the fuck was I? I was I was somewhere. I was so drunk when I was you, there. You and Dude, Vinny were here. I had I had work in the I had morning. fifty bucks on Camille too, so I was like, "Fuck it." Here Dude, Big Country has a crazy long record, honestly. Uh, he's, what is he? He's I remember twenty three and sixteen. I love Chuck Chuck I mean, Look at all these fights his though. Size. He's fought so many he's fucking. Got people. a lot of KOs. <clears throat> how many? Can you Google how much KOs he has? Or can you find it? Yeah, just go to a sure dog page. Sure dog. Isn't it doesn't it uh oh I thought it told you right here. Usually it does. No, if you go to a sure dog page it will. That thing sure is not. not. <clears throat> it's too much work. You know, Derek Lewis uh, lost against DC. Oh wait, right? go to professional record breakdown. Yeah, he did. That's, That's fine. Right. I like that guy. <laughs> I don't oh, really care. He was, not, he was not ready for DC, though. There we go. 14, 14 knockouts. It's pretty nice out of 23. Five wins. submissions. Yep. Four he actually was decent with chokes and things like that. That's crazy. I forgot about that. Um, Did he ever fight John Jones? How do we know he's not better than John Jones? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, look. I mean, I put money on it. <laughs> if you think about it, he's beaten. Let's see. He's beat Brendan Schaub, Stefan Struve. Crow Cop. Mitrion was pretty good at the time. Yeah, he beat Chet Congo, Congo, which is fucked. Yeah, I mean, and then he kind of fell off here. He beat Antonio oh. Nogueira. Oh, he lost to Derek Lewis. Never mind. Oh, Roy Nelson? Or DC? This is big country. It is big country. I'm talking, <clears throat> he fought Derek Lewis. Oh, I thought you said DC. Oh, no. I was. Well. No, DC has beaten some fucking names, though. Who the fuck did DC think just beat? Fight Lesnar. Fight. Uh, I think so. I think that's the talk. Um, you know what? I feel like it's too much for the hype of like trying to be like, oh, he's the WWE champion, trying to give him this shit. Yeah, it's, you know what I mean. But I think it's also the fact that everybody knows that Brock is Brock, and that no matter what happens, people are gonna watch his fights. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind Brock. A lot of people talk shit, but like. Thing about like, DC pretty is pretty big like, dude. I want to get in a ring with that motherfucker. Fuck that. This guy just is. He he really. It's impossible to beat him unless your name's John Jones. Yeah. I mean, he, he's beaten everybody you could think of really in that. Yeah. In that division. Was his first loss to John Jones? John Jones. His only loss, technically. Yeah. yeah. Well, other than <clears> the <throat> overturn. I thought it was crazy how he KO'd Ozdemir. Yeah. I thought that was going to be a wicked close fight, and then the fucking me- Stiopic fight. <laughs> Steel, <laughs> I'm like shit. He likes his really um, naked chokeholds. I heard something about Connor fighting Cerrone. 
Oh, yeah. That'd be a good ass fight. Yep, I saw that the other I day feel too. Like Connor's overrated though. Yeah. You know, say that every Irishman's gonna well, try to fucking kill my family, but I think it's just that he um <laughs> now it's not I feel like if he didn't take a break, he'd still be fucking winning fights, you know. I just feel like he's too much of a hype man nowadays. Also, if um, Khabib didn't come around, <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> Khabib like was a big part of that. I feel like, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I mean, Khabib's like just he—he uh, he reminds me of Saint Pierre just because he can control guys so well. But he was—he's like even better, like ground and pound wise than Saint Pierre was. Mm-hmm. Saint Pierre was just like I'm gonna control you for the entire fight, and if there's an opening for a. A submission, I'm taking it. And then if, if there's not, then I get a decision. <laughs> that was his fight style. Khabib's like, I'm going to do the same thing, but constantly pummel you. And then go beat and your s- friend's ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I mean, he it, wrestled That was, bears. like, my favorite thing. Like, the most exciting thing I've seen in UFC in a minute. Yeah. Like- <laughs> he, he was wrestling bears when he was kid, a kid. It's like when you're brought up wrestling bears, I just don't like trust you don't a get, <laughs> you don't you don't get beat. I mean, that's really how you view it. Like, as soon as I, I feel like if as soon as I have a kid, they're wrestling bears. Like, <laughs> like it's right out of the me, womb, cub. Yeah, get me, get me a bear. Someone get me a bear. Like, you got to make it equal though. Like, train it. Like, raise it with a bear. It's like you know, just one that just came out of a bear's womb. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, yeah. Yeah, that's true. You then when like, they both turn, yeah, like you level them up, other. you level them up progressively. You know, <laughs> you have them do tag it's teams. like Pokemon. You when you think, like, we're, gonna have, when you think we're gonna have an interspecies tag team fighting league? Oh, that'd be sweet. So like a human and another animal versus like a human a and a bear like versus a like a human and a goose versus a crocodile. Bear, and bear wins every like time. Cephalopod. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know. A baboon. They should do an underwater and one. Chimpanzees. You ever see those motherfuckers? They're like eight times stronger than the strongest man in the world. Those things rip your arms what out. What about ten yeah, otters true. versus twenty ducks? Are they rape are they rape lusted? Because well, otters ducks, love raping stuff. Ducks otters rape will, too, you know that? Yeah, but otters are bigger than ducks and they also rape bigger things than ducks do. <laughs> no, the otters are gonna have a time with the, they're gonna fucking destroy those All ducks. Right. One otter versus one sloth. It depends I'm still what, taking kind of, the otter. what kind of sloth is it? I don't know. Because some, some, <laughs> some, some of them, some of them have venomous claws. Of huh? Some of them have venomous claws. Yeah, we'll do that one. Sloth. I'm sure it's. Do, do the it's probably a no contest. I feel like the outer would win, depends. but would eventually is the, die from depends the Depends if is the sloth a sloth. Right, that's the thing. Is he sloth? I mean, it's a sloth. Okay, the otter probably wins then. Honestly, I think the otter wins with the speed advantage. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, like, if he gets one hit with the but fucking the sloth, claw, though, that's then, then eventually it's going to be a no contest because that dude's yeah. just going to well, die. <laughs> the sloth has the reach advantage, for sure. <laughs> for sure, it's like it's like it's like a doped up John Jones with, and he's also in a tree and shit. Yeah, I just yeah, think it's hilarious high, that, top, that the sloths ground. sloths are so <laughs> slow and, and, and dumb that they grab their own arms, thinking that it's a branch. <laughs> I love it, and then they it's fall so out of trees and die. All right, raccoon versus a possum. No rabies involved. Because opossums no can't rabies. contract rabies. Okay. Well, raccoons, raccoons are definitely way more vicious. They got opposable thumbs. I think the raccoons, yeah, like I feel like the rap, raccoons are just gonna possum gang all day, baby. go into rage mode and just kind of yeah. go super. Know, I'm not very scared of possums. All right, baboon versus <laughs> versus gorilla. gorilla. Two baboons, one gorilla. gorilla. The gorillas. Oh, two of them. I don't know. No. You can get behind the the gorilla, but I don't Dude, know. Gorillas are I so much bigger than baboons. Gonna, are you serious? I think the gorilla is just like, going to do this. I feel like our bloodthirsty. <laughs> yeah, but gorillas are. It's a fucking gorilla. Yeah, he's just gonna. Dude, he's just gonna. Uh, one one arm of that gorilla probably weighs as much as. He's both gonna of do those like a giant diamonds. sweeping motion like this and just take. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cheetah versus snow leopard. The, Where are they fighting? Uh, neutral plant, like neutral an territory. area where it's like a mountainous area where it's like snowy, like up top, or like whatever. final, de- like a uh, like final destination, no items. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. S- snow leopard, because I feel like uh, leopards can't are, flash too. Well, not even cheetahs that. are just fast. Too. Cheetahs are just yeah, they're just cheetahs. Fast. They, they're actually they're advantage. actually a very very weak predatory animal. Their jaws aren't that powerful compared to the rest of the big cats, especially not compared to a leopard. Well, the thing is, like, are you going by, like, because I feel like the cheetah's in, like, a flyweight division. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Because he's he's speedy, but he's not like he doesn't have the yeah the durability. He's got the cardio though. You know what I mean? Definitely. It is not no Derek Lewis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's not like a Joey Benavidez type dude. Like he's not like a like a Demetrius Johnson. <laughs> it's, it's like not like a peach, you know. <laughs> um yeah. It's, it's not annoying to eat. <laughs> hippos hippos are the most dangerous, right? Uh Komodo, yes. Komodo dragons are up there. Komodo dragons are really dangerous. They're the ones that have they have so much. a wolf versus the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon. I mean that I feel like faster Maybe. for Well, the thing with Komodo dragons is that they get one bite in you and you're What about dead. a hyena and a wolf? Wolf easily. Wolves are fucking ginormous. What if it's pack versus pack? Wolves. Yeah. As long as the wolf can handle the poison. <laughs> oh, for the I mean? Komodo. As long as it like survives long enough. True. It can take him out, but it's still gonna die eventually. So. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a. Tie. I was saying a venomous animal versus venomous animal. <sighs> yeah, then it's just a matter of who can wrap around quick. You know, like a, a yeah. snag. Slippery snag. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like a scorpion versus like a spider. Like what kind of spider and what kind of scorpion? Like an emperor scorpion or like I don't know. Scorpions are fucked about- though. Scorpions are so scorpions are fucking, fucking scary. scary. Yeah, they are one of the scariest animals you could ever look at because it's like no, Dude, you're they can put to be- down some big shit. Have you seen too? like yeah. the whiplash scorpions? I, I don't think they're the most like anything deadly, but no, I don't they have like I have. a whip tail instead of like a stinger. No shit. Yeah, they're they're like in Arizona and shit. Fuck that, dude. Nope, I'll deal with... I don't with, like snakes. I'd rather deal with deer. I don't mind snakes. I fucking hate snakes. I don't like... They creep sli- me I don't the like, fuck s- I don't like slimy shit, though, like salamanders and newts. They piss me off. They turn me into a newt. God's better. I yeah, like, I feel like um, scorpions, like, if they get you, you're, you're like, it's... You're not gonna handle very much of that. Like, they can pretty much pump it all in. They're pretty good. <laughs> they can take down some big-ass animals. What about... A school of piranhas versus, like, an orca. Mm, it depends on the school. Like, how many? You know like, I mean, like, are we talking, like, a junior high school? I don't school? know. I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think a lot of things could fuck with a school of piranha. Like, are we talking, like, a like a Harvard campus size? Yeah, school? we're talking about, like, we're a we're CCC. Like, yeah, we're talking, like, a, a Kmart Community College school of piranha versus, like, you know, maybe like, a, like, like an OC, like an OCC orca. <laughs> That's intense. Piranhas are piranha, piranha are crazy, dude. You ever watch videos of them and shit? They are. Yeah. Sand- they are. What fucking... about barracudas? Those are fucking crazy too. Yeah. Barracudas are the fastest swimmers, right? Besides like marlins. Oh, I want to see this scorpion. Because now ever, I'm going to be a Have you ever heard about those fish that, like, if the Amazon River, that they can, like, go up your pee hole and, like, yeah, get, like spikes and shit? They're dope. Oh, shit. Yeah, Here we fuck go, guys. scorpions, dude. Even... Fuck that shit. Fuck oh, black little God. spiders, too. Like, fuck that. I don't fuck want that any guy. of those near me. I don't want any. <laughs> oh, look, they're about to touch hands. <laughs> Let's have a clean foot. Touch gloves. Come out swinging. It's like, I'm just going to show you my butt the whole time. He's not even going to do it, dude. We don't need even... What about a crab with a knife? I don't need sound. (laughs) Crab with a (laughs) knife? (laughs) Crab battle! (laughs) He he took my knife! (laughs) Now he's... Look at him. He's instigating. Oh! Oh! He's going... He's coming at him. The spider is... Dude, the spider is instigating. The spider is not in a good attack Oh, oh, he hit him. He hit oh, him. He the spider is in trouble. Uh, dude. Crab versus lobster. Why is that spider not acting like a that spider? spider right now? I don't know. It's in trouble. It's like, it's let me f- just try to beat you in my. Oh, as soon as that stinger fucking hits him, he's done. I've had. A, have you ever held? Look at him! Look at him! He's Spider Man in him, dude. He's got a web on him. Oh shit! I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I didn't see that either. Oh shit! He's dragging him oh, now. He, oh oh he, no! He got that fucking tail. Oh, he's got him on the ground. Mount, full mount. Oh, he, oh shit! He, he <laughs> swept him. He swept him. It looks like he. Oh, he's it. sticking him up. Oh, dude, dude he with that stinger is stuck <clears throat> like that. He's yeah. fucked. You see, there's little oh. holes in that spider though. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. You can see where the puncture wounds. 
Holy shit, I think the referee should have stopped that one. Yeah, that was a both, fucking bloodbath. They, they both fucking died. All right, do another look one. Up, uh, look up Snapping Turtle <laughs> versus Mouse. What time is this? I feel like I'm, it's 11.40. <laughs> All right, at I like midnight, I think I'm done with I this. I definitely have to leave within like the next five to ten minutes. I yeah, got, I'm I got, done. I got work at six. I got to walk all the way to the west side. <laughs> yeah. So let's just watch this video of a snapping turtle ripping the head off a mouse. I feel and like call it a night. snapping turtles are fucking crazy. <laughs> they, they are. Have you seen alligator turtles or whatever the yeah, fuck? Yeah, those things are fucked. Dude, their heads are the size of like the two The tails, footballs. they whip yeah. you with that shit. Fuck Dude, that. Yeah, if I got the a turtles couple. were there's fucking a, carnivores, no, a no place on earth would be safe. Imagine, this one is... This one imagine that if tries. turtles took over. Imagine a world without Turks. Imagine a world with <laughs> like the Turkish people. I want to have my favorite kind of cigarette. Oh, it's Camel man. Turkish. Oh, no, I don't think it's this one. <laughs> he's already done. That. I don't think it's this one. Though. Oh, this one's fucked. No, what do you mean? That, that turtle ain't gonna get. But the mouse has no chance. It's definitely not. No, it's no, definitely have you know. seen it? Was a, no, that no, was no, no, no. You gotta, you gotta find the one with the big fucking turtle. That was a setup, dude. Have you seen uh, the rat versus the snake, and the rat wins? That's fucked up. Uh, I, don't I feel think really so. bad for that mouse, though. Honestly, yeah, that, that mouse was terrifying. It's like you literally not his domain at all yeah, he's definitely he's, he's like definitely, not a home van yeah i was gonna say he's definitely on the road in this one yeah yeah that's not a home game dude. <laughs> big old feeding time i don't think it's this one either this one's against three adult mice that thing is fucking scary yeah don't, <laughs> don't put don't. your hand near snapping turtles that's what that sign says so we should do it, right? <laughs> Look at that. This one. Oh, man, that looks I, like a I Dark don't Souls say, boss. I might have PETA on me, but this one time. <laughs> Dude, it looks like a boss, like a fucking video game boss. This one time we had like a little roach of a boy and this turtle smashed it off the ground, like off the ground. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was like, it was like lockjaw, but you could tell it was like dragging it. Like we didn't give it to him. And like we dropped it and it like scooped it up. <laughs> he's like, what is this? Let me figure this out. Look at him. He's just playing with that one. Oh. Well, turtle heading. What the fuck's going on? He's playing with a bunch of mice. Or he, he's skipping. Yeah, it. but it just keeps skipping into the board. Ugh. It's gruesome. <laughs> what is that? He's smoking a tail. Oh, look at him. He's pulling his intestines apart. <laughs> Look at these Christian. Demolish. <laughs> Finish him. Yeah. Um, that um, is, yeah, that is legitimately a fucking monster. Yeah. Well, I mean, think about it in comparison to that fucking mouse. Yeah. Like, that mouse is, like, literally seeing the devil. <laughs> like <it's, laughs> the mouse not seeing anything. He drowned not anymore. Oh, it's oh he just ripped it apart. I think yeah. it's a replay from the first mouse. Oh my oh god! Oh my that's lord! So that's savage. fucking disgusting. Spaghetti. Yeah, dude. Spaghetti. And I'm not spooking. I'm smoking. I wonder if they have a video of a mo- of a, like a cat in a microwave. No, a cat, a cat in a hat. This sounds awful. Don't ever play that. I love cats. If there's a fucking cat in a microwave, it's not on YouTube. It's on. <laughs> You'd fucking, be surprised. You would be surprised. <laughs> Don't microwave. He's gonna show the cat in the microwave. Turn the volume back. Are up. you fucking serious right guy. now? Don't. Do this. this guy listens to Trivium. Oh my god! I don't <laughs> care what he listens to. <laughs> you I can tell. Watch it. Three, two, one. Ding. It's got cancer now. What? It's uh, a black guy. It's a racist, racist joke. Oh, That's damn. not even how cats work. Or microwave. I thought you were actually gonna microwave a cat. I was like, "What the, the fuck is going broke. on?" It was, it's a broken microwave. But he definitely listens to trivia. You can tell by his ear piercings. You can tell he's stuck in 2008 with that little yeah. Fun what's this? Fit? He's what's still that listening to a tray. The, the bully beat down. Yeah, yeah. Mayhem or whatever. Or yeah, Ma- Jason Miller, Mayhem Miller. That's literally his role model. <laughs> it is. And this kid's gonna go listen to. Uh, shirts. He's gonna go listen to an Atreyu CD. Cry, oh, man. cry about his ex girlfriend who left him 18 years ago. <laughs> 18 years. Yeah, I think I'm out, boys. Yeah, I am too. You gonna go listen to a Treyu? <laughs> We're all gonna go listen to Treyu. All right, signing off. <laughs> Treyu. Signing off. Fruit, fruit is frustrating. Fruit this is so fucking frustrating, especially this we goddamn get, peaches. Like, three clips out of this episode alone, because this is probably the funniest one we've uh, Well, we can get a ton of fruit clips. 
Fruit Clips for everybody. Clear Shots is available on any of your favorite podcast platforms. ClearShotsPodcast.com is the best place to find all of our social media links. You can find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at ClearShotsPod. Thank you for listening, and we will see you next time.